Please stop talking so I can do my intro. Thank you. What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Pizza, and I'm back with more Bloody Bride. So, last time we were kind of getting back into it. It's been a long while since I've touched this game, and God, I've forgotten a lot about this game. Boy, have I forgotten a lot about this game. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. So, this chick finally went out and looked for this girl that we were looking for, this sub-girl that we were looking for. Her name is Akemi Yokoyama, in the third year of Women's College. Left a marker at her home for you. It's in the west of Old Seijo. You don't need her phone number. It's safe to show up uninvited. I don't know how you got that information, but okay. Uh, yeah. So, we have a lot of stuff that we have to get through. There is going to be a lot... It's so funny, because the next couple days are going to be just filled with a bunch of crap we have to take care of to take care of, like the sub-girl that we have right now, and also another sub-girl, and a lot of stuff. But I have remembered so much about this game, thanks to, like, a mixture of just having to play it again, chart out a bunch of things, and then also just... just the... Uh, just just also, like, looking at the guide and going, oh my god, this, this is some ridiculous stuff. Like, I definitely feel cursed now knowing some of the information I know, but uh, some of it is better, some of it is worse. Uh, first things first, though, we are going, ooh, uh, we're going to attempt to turn message speed down to one. Uh, that sometimes helps with the double skipping, sometimes not very often. It helps, but it won't fix it, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, do we have anything equipped? We do not. So, I don't think we've gone out and killed anything recently. We... Haven't, I don't think. Hold on. Uh, items. Uh, no, I guess I have killed things. Uh, experience. Oh, yeah, no, I've got a thousand soul. Okay. Uh, before we do anything, we're actually going to leave. We're going to head out to the shop because you can fix it at the shop, come back and do something else, thankfully. I don't know how many times you can do that, but you can. Uh, let's see. I find things. Please take your time with gusto. Uh, we're going to buy equipment here first. So we've got some stuff here. Uh, these five basically will just increase your stats. Uh, pretty good if you don't want to, like, farm up it. Or if it's, like, the last day, you can get some stuff in there. The rest of these are basically all for your actual things. We have, like, uh, uh, power earring. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that, as I was saying. So, we have, like, stuff here that'll increase our stuff. So, we have attack up, we have electricity, cold fire up. Hard to put to sleep. Won't fall asleep. I don't know what the difference is. I assume wake piece is better. Magic and fascination defense. I don't actually know what fascination is. Uh, full magic and fascination defense. Kind of goes without saying. Good defense. Great defense, by the way. I like that... <laughs> I like steel necklaces translated in the description, but... Not in the actual thing on the menu, but hey, whatever. Lightning Bolt Necklace, Blitz Necklace, Curse Necklace. These are redundant. I'm going to be frank with you. The good electricity, good cold. So here's here's the thing. And I love even the guide break, breaks down what the best equipment is. Because, okay, so there are a few equipment pieces you can get throughout the course of the game. Spoilers, though. You're pretty much already looking at the best shit. And actually getting the best shit is not hard. My strategy is usually go, power attack up, boom, done. Um, but you can also just go, dark piece, uh, and I guess maybe also something else. Maybe, uh, wake piece as well, I'm not sure. Uh, if those are the same thing or work the same thing. Diamond necklace for defense, and then just, uh, power blade for right now. This is actually one of the ones where... You, uh, this is actually one of the weird ones that you can't, uh, one of the weapons you don't get the best of right off the bat, but the Power Blade will do fine for now, so we'll actually pick this up. Unfortunately, now we are too poor to afford most other things, but I just thought I'd point that out. So, come over to our equipment, place this, equip, Power Blade, which... Ironically, despite it saying deals much more damage, it increases our defense, does not augment our attack. 
I'll uh, let that sink in. Uh, we don't have anything to equip for anything else. Leave. Please give my please give Morgan my regards. I will consider it. Alright, so we can still leave out here, so we are going to go out. We're going to go to Seijo Center. Because, fun fact, a lot of the girls in this game are just, hey, complete this girl's uh, subquest, and this other one will unlock. And in fact, that goes for quite a while. So, walk around. Shocker! Ah, that girl's pretty. Okay, let's try attacking her. Very poor choice of words. Hey, you! With the attitude! Hold on! Rock Lee? Naruto? No. I think that was actually... Was that Rock Lee's first introduction, I think? That was his first official introduction, because I think he has, like, a, a... I think his team has, like, a sideline moment of, like, Oh, who are these mysterious characters? And then he actually first introduced himself with that. I just remember that him fucking yelling at Sasuke. Hey, you! With the attitude! Hold on! My name is Rock Lee! Are you talking to me? Yeah! That's right! What is it? Yeah! That was a strange reaction. Alright. Uh... I didn't get to see what the other option was, but obviously I want to ask for a date. Is that right? You look hesitant. Is it okay? Well, I would like some new shoes. Huh? Sh shoes? Man, human mating rituals are weird. If a boy got me new shoes and a matching accessory as a present, well, then I'd go on a date. Oh, you're what we like to call in the industry as a... I guess technically you're not a gold digger, but high maintenance where it's like oh i have to like give you gifts before you even consider me attractive goody uh okay if you don't get me some then no date uh i understand shoes and matching accessory got it Really? Great! Well, here's my cell phone number. Reach me there. Oh, sorry. I'm Wakaba Amai. I can't wait to hear from you. Bye! Well, I guess that was a promise. Okay, then. So where can I find a store that sells things that a girl would like? A shame we can't actually visit normal stores. That would make too much sense. But there is only one store in the game, so... But, uh, for now, though, we are actually going to summon Kali. I don't know if this makes any difference at all or not, but I'm still going to call her and, uh, actually investigate, uh, what was it, Wakaba? Yeah, Wakaba. <laughs> uh, just because I can. I uh, don't know if it makes any difference for collection, but uh, I figure I have it anyways. All right, uh, and she also left us a marker of where we can find Akemi. So, uh, she said she was in Old Seijo. So if we head out to Old Seijo, we should be able to find her house. Now, bear, now remember, um, you have limited walking distance. Make it count. So she's kind of like somewhere in the middle up north. I think it would actually make more sense if I came in from center Seijo and came down I think it would be a quicker destination but I don't remember exactly but this gives us a chance to actually show off our knife which is now doing like eh, it's okay it's like 21 damage and thanks to that little bit of defense we've got uh, we can tank most attacks now this also works out in my favor because I can boost uh, Kali's uh, investigation uh, investigation plays I mean, aside from the fact that the more investigation a demon girl has, the more that they can tell you of the stats you need for a certain girl. There's her house. I'm going to get into one more fight before we go there. It's also a little weird how you get into houses. You have to come at it from a particular angle. It's 
really kind of annoying just as a heads up. So if it looked like I could have gone to the right, I maybe could have, but I don't remember and I don't feel confident enough doing that. So just as a heads up with that. It's very iffy on how you can approach these houses sometimes. Oh, there we go. Leveled up. Uh, as before, we are going to be attempting to raise our power and magic first and foremost. Um, it is worth noting, I discovered... Um, boy, what is it? Um, so, I think it's... Poise can be raised, but it can't be lowered by other things. Naturally. Poise, I believe, is lowered by... It's either fighting or drinking blood. One of those two. And others are raised by... I think spirit can't be raised by anything, but it's raised by fighting. But fighting also lowers stuff like desire. And other stuff like that. So drinking blood and fighting actually also lowers your stats. And that's something you need to take into account. Now, it is worth noting, you don't have to hit... Okay, you don't have to hit the right stats for all stats uh, to get the girl that you want. I don't believe anyways. You just have to hit, I think, their main stat, avoid their bad stats, avoid like going too high or too low on what they consider bad stats. And typically, as just a rule, your magic and physical power will pretty much always be pretty high because you're going to need those to survive the game anyways, so... Usually good to work on those to begin with anyway. So just as a, just keep that in mind. You don't need them maxed out at all times. I would say focus on your magic and physical starting off. So anyways, now we can come in. See, right there. Can't get into the house from there. If I go right there though, I can. A little wonky. Little wonky. Oh? Haha. <laughs> good evening. You really found me. <laughs> You're good. You could say that. You could also say I had a demon on my side. What the fuck does that mean? Nothing. Anyways. Well, I was just on my way to the disco. Would you like to go with me? Yeah! What, what year are we in? What year is it? I actually think, according to the guide, it's like nine. What what year is it? Hold on, let me actually take a look. At the uh, there's a schedule in here. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I got hair in my mouth. There we go. Ugh. Anyways, let me uh, take a look at the guide here. What year is this? What year is this? Okay, it is 1996. Is Disco still around? I don't know. I think it's only 1996 because I think this game came out in 1998. I think? I don't know. The game ends around that time. Alright. Ugh, what a terrible sound. In such a noisy place. Won't it damage a person's ears? Wait, the way you're looking around, are you embarrassed? Is this your first time in a disco? Uh, that's not the reason. Okay, so... Here's a word of... Not warning, but... Just as a heads up. Uh, just as a heads up. It's nighttime, so you would think it would be the perfect time to use charm on... On Akemi. The problem is... Um... Since Akemi was the girl who was already charged by, uh, uh, Bales, she'll basically just fall into that trance again and basically be really attracted to him and you will lose out on it. So, using charm is not always the answer for girls. <laughs> just, just as a heads up. It, it's kind of a red herring in this case. So, that's not the reason. Take it easy. I understand. Yeah, if a person says they don't disco dance, would you like them? <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, babe. You went out with that guy? He doesn't even disco dance. Like, what kind of a loser is that? I don't know why that was my stereotype, like, jock guy. <laughs> if they don't disco dance. Oh god, I love you, classic Japan. <laughs> uh. Well, lightweight, shall we go? Hey, that's a really great remix, so start moving. Uh, uh okay. I don't know. I heard disco and I immediately started doing club remix. I don't know. <laughs> what a very original dance. Uh, original. Wow, what do you call that first dance you did? Um, ballet? I recognize that right away. It is a man's job to stretch himself in front of women. Uh-huh. Get a feeling that's where the translation's a little... <laughs> You'll do better next time, I'm sure of it. Well, that's it for today. Bye. Uh, bye-bye. Uh, I was too preoccupied to suck blood. Oh well, well, it didn't go too bad, did it? Eh. 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 We have another date in the cards. Totally not because I've mapped out all of this, because let me tell you, my fucking So I have a guide over here to explain to explain to myself how to do all this shit. Like what order I need to do all of this. And let me just tell you, reading this, having no context, is just a f fucking nightmare to read. Like, an absolute nightmare to read. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, what's going on? Oh, right, we were going to, uh, Sarah's house. I forgot all about that. Kawakami-san's house. This can't really be a church, right? Did you forget something in your rush here? Uh, Jinkuji, how long have you been here? I just arrived. Is there some problem if Sarah's house is also a church? N not at all. I'll have you know I... Ah... Uh, 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 <laughs> Well, okay. In any case, you should be careful if you're going to enter. The Holy Spirit of the Church may not tolerate a vicious person. How come your pale ass is allowed to enter? Uh, huh. Uh, come in. Welcome, both of you. Hello? Sarasan, thank you for inviting me. Not at all. Well, let's go inside. Why is it so pink? Actually, it's not really pink. It's kind of like a peachish color in here. God, there's so much color on screen looking at this right now. Like, if I just ignore the yellow of the text box and I look at everything, it's like red, 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 red. Fankun, is something wrong? You don't look so well. Ah, so you're finally showing your true colors. D don't be stupid. I'm just a little nervous. Women make me nervous. Is that so wrong? Is that right? That's not unusual. Just relax. <laughs> nervous laughter. It's horrible. The overflow of Holy Spirit is making dizzy from its constant power. Th that cookie, but it's burnt. It is. It was very good. As good as anything ordered from a French bakery. Sure. Take your word for it. I, um, Morcoon, will you try one too? Okay. Should I eat it? What would happen if I ate something from a place filled with Holy Spirit? Oh, don't you like cookies? No, it's just that... 
I don't know if there's any actual adverse effect from eating it, but it does make her happy, so... Fuck it! Here goes. Om nom nom. Eh? What? Oh no, not now. It, it's great, Kawakami-san. Really? Thank you. Okay, good night. Uh, what's wrong with you, Moore? Huh? It... It's nothing. My skin is just melting. Is that... Not normal for... Humans? Never mind. More coon? Uh... How did I get here? Morgan. I... How? You passed out because a holy spirit entered your body. Uh, but Kawakami-san's house. That was completely reckless, young master. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't read what he said. Eh? Who could that be? Hello? Ah, uh, good. You're okay now? Ah, Kawakami-san. You collapsed about an hour ago. I've been very worried. Sorry. I feel much better now. Would it be too much trouble to come here next time? Yes, that's fine. It was nice of you to say my cookie was good, even though it was so bad you fainted. Yes. That's the reason. And nothing else. I object. That's not right. It was just so delicious that I crammed it in my mouth and choked. You know, with... Not actually choking. Actually, does he breathe? He's a vampire. Are we going like full fucking... What interpretation of vampire are we going with this? Are we going with like living dead kind of thing? Does he breathe? Or is this like some Twilight... Well, this is pre-Twilight. So never mind. I was going to say, is this some Twilight bullshit where he's just mimicking the act of breathing? R really? I'm sure you're right. I'm glad. I'll make more next time. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he made, like, some kind of, like, uh, uh, sound. G great! I look forward to it! She was worried. Kawakami-san is such a nice girl. And that's why I will take her blood for my own. Blood for the blood gods! The blood god. Korn would be very displeased to hear that there are multiple out there. <laughs> All right, her name is Wakaba Arai. In her second year of a private high school, is she a Kogal? I don't know. What the fuck is a Kogal? It would be a mistake to forget to bring a present. Strangely, this girl is very persistent. Well, you seem to be a beginner, so have fun for now. <laughs> then, Master, do your best. Noted. So... Now, stated, we can go to the shop and pick up something ahead of time. Which we will do. I think we got enough that we can actually buy an item, I think? Question mark. We shall see. I find things. Yes, we did, bitchin'. Alright, if that's the case. Um, I don't think we got enough. I don't know we did, actually. Dope. Yeah, enough for both of those. What's the one that costs a thousand then? Life pin accounts for two thousand. Dude, fucking good luck actually finding something that will kill you unless you are like just badly managing your stats and not buying shit. By the way, we're getting the dark piece. There we go. Uh. There we go. Dark piece. Full magic and fascination defense. Alright, so it doesn't seem like he has anything to offer, but if we leave... Well, Master, I have to find a present for a date with a girl, so what would be best? Oh, a present for a girl. This is a magic item specialty store, so that could be difficult. What about one of these? So we have three, uh, so we have, uh, six options here. Three of these will work, three won't. I mean, I'm gonna be real, if you can kind of guess the kind of girl that wants you to bring her items as a gift, you can probably guess what she's interested in. 
Here's a hint. It's the heels, the earrings, and the silver ring. You can bring any of them. So we're just going to start with the heels. This one, I guess. How much is it? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Consider it a service. Okay, but I shouldn't. Well, thank you, Master. I'll come again. Goodbye. Please get... Ugh. Please. Please. Please give Morgan my regards. Alright, so with the boots uh, in hand, we can now call people. So, uh, we are going to, first of all, specifically call uh, Akemi. And get some pretty interesting dialogue out of this. Uh, yes? Uh, it's, uh, Fang. Fang Moore. Oh, how did you get this number? Uh, didn't you give it to me? That must be right. It's strange. Well then, what do you want? Do you have any free time today? <laughs> Specifically today? Say, mm, I don't know, tonight? Free time for what? But I just said... <laughs> I'm joking, you wanted to ask me on a date, okay. Really? You're so lucky! You probably shouldn't say that on the phone in front of the girl. Right. Well... Oh no, wait, that's her. Well, I'll be waiting. Good. All right, and we can do one last thing today, which we are going to do by uh, calling uh, Wakaba. Wa Wakaba. Wakaba? Uh, names are hard. Yes? Hi, it's me. Ah, uh, hello? So, do you have some free time? Uh, let's say, hypothetically, mm, tomorrow in the day. Well, yeah, okay. Great. You're pretty excited. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting. I look forward to it. Wait, huh? D does she expect a present? Well, I better get some more training. And with two calls done, that ends our day. Uh, just because I don't have her information. We're gonna summon up, uh, Kali. And we're gonna have her in investigate Erica. Oh yeah, as her, uh, as her investigation has gone up, her dialogue has changed. I'm not gonna bother reading that dialogue, mostly because it is going to be the same for a long-ass time. A long time. Alright, but we have a date tonight, so... Let's get to it. I forgot that I actually forgot to wrote that I have a date tonight. But I guess my... I guess in my infinite wisdom, I was like, I wouldn't forget, I just scheduled it. But... That's putting too much faith in me. <laughs> She's late. She must have gotten tied up. Ah, there she is. Ah, that professor made me rewrite my report. Ah, you made it, Morkun. Then let's start dancing. Uh, uh... She was late and didn't apologize. Maybe I should... Oh my god! Use magic! No. Um... Uh, just dance. Dun -dun 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 -dun. There we go. Well, it doesn't matter now. I'll just keep it quiet. Look, you're not here to impress her, get to know her or anything. She doesn't matter. She is merely just a delicious delicacy waiting to happen. <laughs> Anyways. Huh, I'm worn out. This is a good time for a slow dance. Why? Because of the mood? Huh? Well, thanks. Any kind of dancing works. Wait, what? Uh... Oh, whatever. Yeah, I think that can change any bad mood to a good one. That's refreshing to hear. I'm surprised that you understand women so well. Oh? What? 
you seem to be good at this for a man. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I don't really know how else to interpret that. Uh, it, is that right? And considering it's slow to- Oh, talking about dancing. Oh, dan dancing. Oh, okay, okay. But- Well, I- and, Okay, yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. It's kind of like there's a disconnect there, so it sounded like she was responding to him basically just being nice. <laughs> it was like, oh, you're good at this for a man. <laughs> it's just like, okay, whatever. Well, I was trained a lot in social dancing in Devildom, but not in disco. Ah, yes. Disco slow dancing. My favorite genre. Full disclosure, I don't know if that's an actual genre. I don't listen to a lot of disco. I never expected to find a male like you. Is that right? This is embarrassing. Ah, this is no time to be shy. I've got a chance here. Look at me, with your own eyes. Uh, I'm trying to look into her eyes. What should I do? What should I do? I'm so nervous. Oh my god, you fucking virgin. Calm the hell down. Okay. What is that look? Huh? Well, me... Maybe I should try to kiss her? But it's something else. My target. Gominosai. Om nom nom! Uh, now, what? Huh, that's really surprising. Uh, I don't think she's aware of anyone except me. Most people would find that flattering. Me, I find it... Delicious. Huh, but what's the best way to do it? Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.